Today we're gonna discuss Red Wing Boots. Not only Red Wing Boots, but the only Red Wing Mokto Boots. In this video I want to discuss the good, the bad and the ugly. I think it's a good boot, but let's start from beginning. The good things. After viewing some videos, maybe from uh, Rose Handel, that I wanted to buy a boot, a proper resolvable boot. And he cut these uh, boots, Red Wing boots, mock toes. And from that time, I wanted to buy this boot, right? And I started looking and they were pricey. So I found myself this. This is rare Japan only version of Makto in sage color, probably sage, yeah. So they were quite expensive in uh, eBay but I was able to find them in local market for $150. So they were not expensive for me and they were in near new condition. So continue good things with the leather. It's actually quite a good leather. It's thick and it uses 360 degree weld, so it could be resold easily and I swapped the laces with leather one because I like them better and what else? I like the construction and I wore them regularly and I think it's a pretty good boot for the money I paid. Bad things. What bad could you say about these boots? Actually, there is a couple of things. One is a stitch. You have to watch out for this seam because it could disintegrate and those two pieces of leather they will uh, go in different routes so if you look closer you'll see the stitches you'll see the seam and you'll see the spacing between them i had to glue this once to close the seam because it looked ugly. The other bad thing would be that these boots mostly come from Red Wing in the width, which means they are quite narrow and the toe is quite pointy. I'd like to have E width smaller size and E widths. This is size uh, 10D and I would love to have 9 and a 5 E. Also, some people would not like this Rafael Blazer. I personally like it because it hides all the scratches and I just don't care anymore I just use them wherever I need and despite it being classic and uh, fashionable boot I just wear them on all locations where I need to walk in the 
dirt and uh, wet mess. We just clean good and look okay. But someone might not like this graphite leather. Last one would be the ugly. Why I'd say this about Red Wing Boots? Just look at them. I know it's iconic design, right? But I personally prefer plain toes, not mock toe. I don't like this seam to be visible. So, in my opinion, it's horrible looking piece of um, not necessary economy because probably this uh, piece could be made from one piece of leather but now it's two pieces of leather and it's cheaper to make I know previous moccasins were made like full bottom and then they went to the top where the stitches were but this boot doesn't have uh, leather on the bottom it's end up here on the stitch where it's all glued to the sole so to me this is just heritage styling that some might like I I don't know. You might like it. I personally not a fan. I have these boots. I wore them every day. But but I think I like other boots better. By the looks. They are pretty comfortable. Don't get me wrong. But they look specific. Right? And the second thing would be the pricing. Currently in 2022, the new version of these boots in the general leather will cost you $349 or euros depending on where you are. Used boots like that in Sage Rafale leather will cost you $380, the used boots, where you need to resolve them and do a lot of things to restore their condition to be like a new. I think it's a horrible idea to spend all this money to buy used boot. So my proposal to you would be if you like the idea that this boot is looking like that and you could find the store where you could measure your feet and uh, buy proper sizing because sizing is all over the place they are narrow long and hard you could buy them but the other ugly point would be the hugely tough leather it will take you a week or weeks to break in these boots because materials used here is outstanding I say this one more time materials is pretty good but they are tough at the same time just because the leather had to be sick to allow you to walk in these boots like not a week, not a month, years, like five years, ten years from now. And this leather had to withstand it. All the damage you will done to it. And it's hard. It's hard to break in. Now after a number of hours I spent in this owl is these boots. Some days I spent like 12 hours in these boots without taking them off. And 
they are still not like sneakers. Don't listen to those people in advertisement or paid videos who tell you that these boots are like sneakers. Light, comfortable and all this bullshit. No. It's a heavy boot. Properly constructed. It can't be light. It's tough boot because of the materials is used. It can't be soft. But this boot feels good on your feet. So I'd recommend you buy it, try it for yourself and subscribe to the channel. See you into the next one.